if you're like me and you hear somebody saying, what I'm teaching you is legitimate. <laughs> Your first question is, why do you feel you have to say that? Uh -huh. right. so there's a reason why it's not well known. So Yang Lu Chan came from the Chen village back to Guangping, which was his hometown, then to Beijing. And his sons, his children were born in Beijing. Yang Chen Ho taught this Baduan Jin. Now it seems he didn't teach it widely. Mm -hmm. He taught it to his student Tian Zhao Lin. And Tian Zhao Lin grew up in the Yang family really as, as a family member. Yang Chen Ho taught the Baduan Jin to Tian Zhao Lin. Several pieces of the Baduan Jin are actually in the Chen Gong book. Sources for the Yang family Baduan Jin, as taught by Yang Jian Hao, come through disciples of Tian. Relates to um, circulation, qi circulation, and, and martial application. The first section is just basically a series of Hong An. So when we raise the hand, we can hands, we can see they're raising up. This is Pong, ward off, or uh, or on, uh, sitting wrist into the foot. Pong is when the arms are basically doing nothing. They're just sitting in some kind of natural position, doing nothing. That's Pong. On is when we disturb this by sitting the wrist, doing nothing, and doing something. And when we stop doing something, we go back to doing nothing. It's a binary, this is the zero, this is the one. The one or the zero. We think of ourselves as having two legs and two arms, but we're, we're in a sense, four limb creatures. Right? We can walk on all fours. As my wrist releases, so does my ankle. As I find my tie in, I'm finding it also in the leg. And then shoulder hip. And you see how easily he floats there. See, my shoulders, my arms are separated from my torso. So I can push all I want, nothing happens. But if I let this cycle occur, and it happens in my legs as well, and in my arms, and in my ribs, there's no, no space for math. Only I can be in this space, because it's all completely unified. And this isn't physical force, this is Pong Jin. Why is your feet doing that? Why is your face doing that? This is Jui Shou. I support the point of Pong Jin. Right? The soul's good. Yeah. When I support the point of contact, and I'm actually supporting in my dance, there's no room for his force there. You, you, you resist it. Look, here. He starts popping. Okay. Passive inhalation. Active inhalation to the head top. We've had this active exhalation here, so that must release. This is all the wrists. Remember we talked about a turnaround zone? The shoulder opening is this bit up to here. So this gets active again. The first part of this is passive. Now the turnaround, now it becomes active. Now, now it's very easy to move. Now, this whole section is, is about opening up the waist and spine 
and integrating it with the, the energetic stuff that we've just done in the previous two sections. If, if you need to have this stick, in the first variation it would be like I was going to pinch the stick. The other one is more like this is raised right up to the rib point, and I'm going to vault up over it. There's the three ways of opening up, extending, and strengthening the weight. They, they represent different ideas. The first one has this idea. It's like I'm just falling into the space. Look what happens to me. The next one's a little different because it's like I'm going over. See? So when I turn, he's displaced almost from above the point of contact. The last one, it's, it's really this idea. I'm going to actually move him. Play between them. I could disrupt his balance, start to tip him, and use a, use a little bit of waste. You see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could, could you feel that? Armpits, elbows, and wrists. <laughs> and here, step together. So you can think of it like a, an exaggerated baseball throw. That you come in here very deep and turn. So when you go in very deep and turn here, it's another one of these kind of long energy type effects. Right? Big one here, low one here. This is like you're coming into this space, okay? Or into this space. You have this diagonal fly. Snake creeps down. Today I'm feeling a little martial. Today I'm feeling very silky. I just want this very smooth, like drawing silk. Yeah, very smooth. I have that feeling. The dominant energy is Pong. The secondary energy is on here. Passive in-breath, active in-breath. Passive out-breath, active out-breath. Hip fractures in older people come because they slip and fall. So you want to have that stability. You can use your on and your Pong in your legs. Erica. So if you could come behind me, and from here, the ankle, the knee, the hip. Mm -hmm. Then release, and in. Do you notice that you feel it on both sides? Yes. Yeah? So even though this one is the stationary leg, there's pulsation in that supports. Do you feel? Yeah? From, from here, I could quite easily Move the person. If Matt helps me for a moment, trying to sweep this leg here. I use my, my pong in my leg. See, if I don't have that, he's going to bend me over that leg. But as he does that, I use this power. Outside sweep, I use my pong. See? When you do this one here, this hand is a bit in front. One. Two. You could go higher. This way. Maybe you turn. Ta. I do this one, and she steps out of it, and I do this one. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Step. One, two, three, four. So basically, if we finish down here, this is about where we're going to stand. I'm in a medium stance. It's not static. It should shake a hundred times. When we compressed it, we got about ten shakes out of it. And when we released it, we got about ten shakes out of it. So this way of stance training is not just standing and enduring, release the ankles,
horse stance, more and more dynamic, more and more energetic. So please settle onto one leg, release, armpits, elbows, sitting wrists. We're training the strong support. It's more like an 80%, 20% situation in here. So that's going to really tax this thing. When that closes, we've got that same closing in the two legs and open. Raise hands, step up. I'm playing with, again, the pulsing. Closing inside, opening, closing inside. So it's dynamic. It's not just sitting there waiting out the clock. It seems like when you close it down, it's a lot like if you have a like a jar of herbs that you're trying to pack down so you can put more in it. And it makes a very potent tonic. Yeah. Yeah. Now, when you're ready for a change, you've been sitting. So what's going to release first? Wrist. So you want to move inside of it into the palm and armpits, elbows. And in the beginning, it's quite structured. When we do alternating rapid punches, we don't inhale or exhale. These are winding inside. See it here? Praying mantis. You would have no problem convincing somebody who did, you know, Praying mantis or monkey style, and have these kind of attacks all the time. But it's a little weird because we have these nice big Yang Chen Fu shapes. But if we start to think A, we don't need to use that big of a shape, and B, we can turn these things over a little bit, and we can extend them with the whip, then we're get we're now in the zone of these other martial arts with our own artist logic. So watch the outer whip. How much do you know? There's a there's a mode. <laughs> the highest level is this. <laughs> This section is Tai Tui Fa or Tai Tui Gong, trampling leg. Uh -huh. It's referring to this kind of stepping. We see it in our famous Anlan Tui. See the whole Bad Wan Jin is working up to this, this exercise here. It's described as being almost like a, a, a secret weapon of the Yang family. Receiving, neutralizing, enticing, seizing, and issuing. And that's the seizing and the issuing. If I just walk up to something and push it, but if I can make myself, like you're heaving something. You know, I wouldn't be able to just step out of the way and like get you off. Like it feels like you were grounded at every moment along the way. If I just kind of, you know, run at you, 
Yeah. Right? There's one energy for you to deal with. Psychically, we can say, you have to deal with the neutralization, the entice, the seize, the issue. There's a lot of content there for you to process. Wrist, elbow, shoulder, watch, shoulder, elbow, wrist. When I turn the roll back, I've already borrowed the energy. Yes. Another bar, there's nothing there anyway. And boom. Yes, that's right. Look, that's just sitting there. If I uh, look at that, makes the tie easy. It makes the jump very strong. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 